Hey everybody, it's uh, Mark Volt with Voltland Outdoors continuing to teach the Voltland archery, the Voltland shooting technique, which is this combination of string walking for elevation, anchoring under the chin, looking down the left side of the string, using the tip of the arrow for your front peep sight, but releasing underneath your chin like this instead of face walking off to, the, instead of uh, anchoring off to the side of your face. And what do you buy with that? There's another thing I want to mention. I want you to pay attention here. If I'm shooting out there at that target, the far one with the little red dot in the middle, so it's up against the hill there, that's 90 meters, 99 yards, it's been pushed back just a little bit, so it's exactly 100 yards away. When I'm aiming at that, if I'm anchoring on the side of my mouth like this, I've lost two inches of rear elevation on my, on my arrow that I get back when I anchor under my chin like this. And it's that extra elevation that gives me the range that I need to be able to do traditional bare bow archery all the way out to 100 yards. So let's take a look. The method is that we're going to use string walking, string walking to change the elevation of the rear of the bow, not the front of the bow, but the rear of the bow. And in this case, what I can do with my technique is actually go all the way out even over one finger so that it looks something like this. My anchoring for a hundred yards looks like that. That's a pretty steep angle on a bow on an arrow, but you'll see that even with a regular hunting arrow and 55 pound bow, I can get that distance. We'll hear the thud. It's a quiet day. It's only my second round. I was shooting at 20 yards, so we'll see how it goes, but I feel pretty good. So the technique again for the, the Voltland shooting method is, I'm going to use string walking to choose my gap. In this case, my gap is above the arrow instead of below it. I'm going to anchor under my chin, look down the left side of the string with my eye, put the tip of the arrow right smack on the target, not below the target, not above the target, not off to the side of the target. It put I put the tip of the arrow right smack on what I'm trying to hit. And that makes it also unique because I'm watching the head of the arrow from the moment it leaves the bow. My eyes are never off the arrow. That together with the release under the chin so that it's nice and firm and it's a release like this and I can do pretty well. Now if I'm lucky I'll hit I'll hit the I'll hit the balloon but I'm just going to be trying at 100 yards. Let's be honest there's a little breeze blowing from camera left pushing this way. It could, it could be enough to walk all the way across at 100 yards, to walk all the way across the face of that target. But let's try. I'm gonna double check my angle here to make sure you can see it. Get my distance correct. Picking my, picking my distance, one finger on top. I'm gonna be drawing back and really quiet so that I'm not talking during the shot. Here goes. It's left, in fact, it's left a foot. I'm not kidding. You can follow that on the camera. I don't lie about my shots. I don't try to fake them or anything. I really thought it was gonna move, but it didn't. I'm watching the flag over here now. It's only pushing from behind me like this. So I'm gonna aim right at the red dot now, the red balloon. Pretty good. Ooh, right on the bottom. You heard that. It was this little splat, but it was there. Dead center, right underneath the balloon, but on the very bottom of the target. Let's try again. Pretty good. <laughs> two for two. Okay, this one's got a bad fletching, so I got to be a little careful. It tends to lose distance. <sighs> Left. Yep. I heard it hit grass thut, like that instead of thwap. I can live with that. It's another one, bad fletchings. Wind is now coming out of my rear quarter, but I don't think it's going to bother me because I'm watching that flag. Only got two shots left.
Yeah. That's a three for five. I got a sixth arrow now. By the way, when I when I pick the camera up, we're walking down there. I'm not going to pause or cut or anything. Nope, left and into the hill. Let's go take a look. Because those shots that did work were pretty good. Here we see 10 meters. Not even taking, you can see the camera. Whoops. There. You can see the shadow on the ground. It's not a bad day. It's like uh, 48 degrees. In northeastern Illinois in December, two days before Christmas, 50 meters. I wasn't aiming at him. I'm aiming at 100, so we're halfway there. It's that anchor. Eh, I'm on the bottom of the target. I can see now. Oh, not horrible. Not horrible at all. So I got three out of six on the target. Came in pretty close to the balloon the first time. And we'll see that even the misses went into the hillside at the right height. So we got two over there. Oh, where's my last one? Where is my last one? We got these three sitting there. And there's the 90 meter mark, 100 yards. One, two. I don't know. Let me uh, prop this up for a second. Okay. So what we're seeing here, what I, what I want you guys to take away is this. Using this technique of anchoring under the chin not letting your hand fly out, letting your release be smooth like this, is what gives me very little left-right wobble that is normally associated with traditional archery, with bare bow archery. And because of that, I actually get really darn good accuracy even out at 100 yards. 100 yards shooting bare bow. There's nothing wrong with these arrows. I hope you like the technique. I'm still going to continue talking about the, the Voltland shooting method. Again, it's not magic. It's a combination of a lot of other techniques that I haven't seen anybody try to use of using string walking and using Olympic archery anchoring and using the front sight, the, the front pin for your, the front, the tip of the arrow for your front pin and using the left edge, like Olympic archers do, the left edge of the string for your peep sight. It's just that when you put them all together, you can pick up any bow and take one shot and start to understand exactly how you need to modify and make adjustments so that you're actually putting the tip of your arrow right smack on the target not below it not above it you're not shooting at some weird spot in space you're aiming at your target anywhere from 10 yards all the way out to 100 yards and that's a pretty good technique hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe and we'll talk to you soon